Hi, this is Randy. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you'll enjoy what we're going to share with you today. I hope that you're doing well. I am. God is good. If you have an opportunity, if you would take it, and please hit the subscribe button. It's in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And hit like, and if you would uh, make a comment if you want to or anything, all that stuff helps me to where they'll push the channel out where I can reach more people for Christ. We're going to talk today about a sign you're losing spiritual growth. A lot of people don't pay attention, but they're slipping further and farther away from the Lord, and they're losing spiritual growth. So we're going to touch on that. 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. So it begin, when you begin to pull away from godly relationships, then that's when you start having problems. You need to stay around God and do what the Lord asks you to do. And you need to be with your Christian family. You don't need to pull away from godly relationships. If you find out the direction a person is going, all you have to do is find out who are they listening to, who are they running with. Who they run with and who they listen to. Birds of a feather flock together. Don't take a lot of spiritual advice or any spiritual advice from somebody that's not serving God and not a Christian. When a person's growing in God, and when a person is strong in the Lord, and they're flowing in the Spirit and filled with joy, when they have other people around them who are godly people and people that are happy people, then they will remain faithful to God and doing what God wants to do with their life. Am I saying you can't be around people who aren't Christians? Absolutely not. All right? Absolutely not. Don't, don't think that. But if you're with your non-Christian friends way more than you are with Christian people, you need to reevaluate uh, what you're thinking about, and that's a sign of losing spiritual growth. When someone is under attack, they begin to dodge Christians when they see them. They don't want to be around them when they've done something wrong or they've made a mistake. I understand. I've made mistakes in my life. Everybody has. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Everybody. Say it together. I'll give the air quotes. Everyone was a sinner when they came to Jesus. After they give their heart to the Lord, then they're going to make mistakes. You, you don't want to. You try not to, but you are. You're nobody to live a perfect life. Uh, the Lord tells us in Ecclesiastes, it's either chapter 7 or 9. Should have looked it up. It just popped in my head. But... Uh, it tells us in the word that no one does good all the time and never sins. They're 100% good all the time. It doesn't happen. Uh, life without making a mistake or, or whatever is not an option for you and for me or for anybody. If you're not careful, you will think that your ungodly friends are better to be around than your Christian friends. That's another red flag waving. If you'd rather go places all the time and you're spending more time with people that aren't godly than you are people that are godly, then that's a sign to you that you're slipping and losing ground and you're not growing in the Lord. Being pulled away from glorious friends or people that are godly is a big sign you're losing spiritual growth when you don't want to be around people. This past Sunday, I was looking so forward to going to church. I wanted to be around my church family. I wanted to be around the people that I feel like is an extended family. Uh, I've had that all my life. My dad was a pastor, and I love the church family. Even when I was a teenager, I liked running around with my friends. I was playing on baseball teams, playing on softball teams, was in senior band and marching band at school and filled in uh, quite a bit in the orchestra and all that. I had a lot of stuff going on. But I loved being around my church family. Back when I was a kid, they don't do this anymore. It's because we have so much entertainment, 200 TV channels. It doesn't work. But we used to have church picnics when I was a kid. I loved the church picnic 
because almost everybody at the church came and we had big old number two wash tubs full of ice. They bought big blocks and hit it with a hammer and put bottles, real glass bottles of pop in there. We played softball, sack races, everything. It was a wonderful day. Being around godly people is not a bad thing. Being pulled away from godly friends is a big sign that you're losing spiritual growth. All of us have friends who are not saved, and it's good for Christians to have friends that are not saved. We should remember Jesus was a friend of sinners. There's nothing wrong with having a friend that doesn't go to church, that doesn't profess to be a Christian, but you're the only Bible they're probably going to see. If you aren't around, they aren't even going to see that. So there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think being a Christian means you put yourself, God puts you in a Ziploc bag and seals you up so you can't be around sinners and you uh, don't want to be around people that are not godly, all right? And you zip yourself up in that bag to protect you. We're never going to win anybody to Christ if we don't talk to people that are not Christians. We're never going to be able to help people out who are struggling in life because they're not serving God and they're not living a godly life if we never become a friend to them, if we never speak to them. My Lord, you work with people. You go to the grocery store and run into people. You know, you need to associate with people. You don't uh, get to where you put a cocoon around you and never deal with people that are not Christians. You're supposed to be a part of the family of God, but you don't have a life like Christians should live. And you'd rather be around your sinner friends than you like to be around your spiritual friends and the people at church, when you choose to do that, and you'd rather be around sinners than you would be Christians, that is a big sign saying, hey, I'm losing spiritual growth. I'm going in the wrong direction here. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 says, but grow in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord and your Savior Christ, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. All right, I'm going to wrap this up by saying you need to look at the people you run around with. You need to look at the people that you're with. You need to take an inventory once in a while and say, am I losing ground? Am I losing uh, uh, the sign and missing the signs that I'm not growing in the Lord? If you're not growing in the Lord, and if you don't care about being around godly people, and if you'd rather be with your sinner friends than your Christian friends, you're having a problem. You're not growing in the Lord. You're losing spiritual growth. So be careful. Have friends. It don't matter if they're Christian or not. But if you want to spend more time with people that are ungodly than you do with people that are godly, that's a big sign to you saying, I'm losing spiritual growth. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. When you hear the word of God preach, it builds your faith. If you miss a bunch of services and you're away from there and you're not hearing the spiritual sermon preach, you're not around your church family. I love it when churches have dinners. We all sit around and visit and stuff. It's wonderful. But don't miss the warning signs it's telling you that you're losing spiritual growth, all right? If you get a chance, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand of your screen. Give it a th thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Help me build this channel up so I can reach a lot of people for Christ. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds to subscribe to the channel and to uh, share it with someone or hit like. It doesn't take much, but you will help me to push this out to other people. Thank you for your time this time till next time. Randy's signing off. God bless you. Old Rev May says bye and have a wonderful day.